So this weekend, USC 252, the trilogy fight between Stipe Miocic and Daniel Cormier. Uh, heavyweight title is on the line. Uh, also, what's on the line is legacy. Uh, who will be considered the greatest heavyweight of all time? I think most people would say this fight might decide it. You know, everyone's going to have their opinion. But I think when you look at what both guys have done in their careers in the UFC, in the sport of MMA, kind of hard not to argue that these are two of the top five of all time in the heavyweight division. They both have a win over each other. They both have a win by knockout over each other. Very compelling matchup. Can't wait to see it. Um, I'm going to try to see it. going to be a busy weekend for me, but I'm going to try to do my best to, to watch it if I can. Um, I did see both of the other fights. What I think, if I'm going to have to predict, I think I want to say Daniel Cormier has the edge by the sheer amount of rounds that they fought thus far, which, have, which is five. Um, but... It is really a pick 'em fight because the fight, the, the rounds were not close in my eyes. I feel like Daniel kind of ran away with them. But when you look at it beyond who won the rounds, when you look at how things played out, when you look at the athletes themselves and, and their skill set and what they can do, I feel like Stipe is always going to be dangerous, right? He has the ability to you know, to win a fight against Daniel easily, right? He can, he can do certain things. He has the range. He has good footwork. He has good wrestling. You know, he has the tools if he can put them together to make this a tough fight. I'm kicking the tripod. That's not good. Um, so yeah, um, that's my, that's my, that's my thought on it. I think Daniel wins it. Um, and if he wins it convincingly, then he will be a two-time light heavyweight champ, two-time heavyweight champ, Strike Force Grand Prix champion, Olympian. Um, that's a pretty stacked resume for an MMA fighter. I think you would have to not only put him in the top of the heavyweight division, you would have to probably put him at the top 20 of all time, you know? It's quite an accomplishment, you know, and you think about it, um, his career hasn't been that long, but he came straight. I mean, he went in the deep end of the pool. When you look at his resume of guys he's fought, I mean, he's fought the very best in both divisions, right? For the, the last, you know, 10 to 10 to plus years, right? So I think he doesn't get enough respect for what he does. And I think... You know, if I'm, I'm a fan of his, I'm a fan of Stipe too, but if I'm a fan of Daniels, I feel like I want to see him, you know, put the cap on his career. This is his last fight. And for some, it, Stipe might be rumored to have his last fight too. So I want to see both guys put a, put a nice cap on this trilogy, have a real great fight, make it compelling. And then, uh, you know, Daniel's going to ride off in the sunset and uh, end his career and move on to other things. You know, congrats to him for, for a great career and, you know, for entertaining us, giving, giving us his best. And uh, we appreciate him. And, um, yeah, I can't wait to see it. So the, the card is uh, stacked, too. They got some other fights. You know, Sean O'Malley's fighting. You know, I don't even know the other guy he's fighting. Honestly, he's the star in that situation, right? He's the, the guy we're looking at. So we don't really think about who else he's fighting. But um, Junior Dos Santos has got a fight in that, you know, this card. So he's trying to get back in the mix, you know, against a prospect of Jardino. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be good. So, yeah, my, my pick is Daniel. I think he's got the fight. I think he has... Uh, remotivated himself, you know, getting his weight intact, um, training a certain way. And I think he wants to, he's motivated to win and do certain things a certain way. So 
That's my thought on it. Peace.